how's it going everyone? Welcome to another GeoGuessr Guess the Square challenge. This time I've made things absolutely ridiculously hard. In the last episode of this challenge I divided the normal squares into four and I'm doing the same thing here again so it's now 16 times as difficult and just look at all the squares. It is ridiculous. There are so many that it's actually laggy to zoom in and out of the map now so this is gonna be a crazy challenge. Let's see how many times I can get the right square today. A big shout out to Miracle Whips who created the original script. Go check it out. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, but this round we are gonna be in France. We got the blue reflector on the pole. The architecture almost didn't even make me think France at first, so I feel like this is going to be pretty close to England up north, maybe Brittany. You get this type of architecture more there, and it definitely feels much more northern, the types of foliage we've got here. The problem is, however, we have lines here, we have lines there, so that we could be on the other side of those, but odds are, if we're going to be in this area, it should be in this one, so I'm going to go for it. Oh, you, of course, of course. Well, I had the right idea here in France, but the lines, the lines are going to be terrible for this. Here we go with round number two. Okay, this one's going to be South Africa. We can see that we're driving on the left. This is the back of the car, so we are on the left side of the road. You get a lot of these wooden poles, especially like this in South Africa. And this is going to be some of the newer Gen 4. It's very flat, agricultural, so should just be somewhere in here. Now, there are just so many squares. This is ridiculous. Probably one of these three. From Pretoria down here to this Blumfontein Square. That's that's what I'd say. Now, I don't know how I'm supposed to know which one it's going to be. This is really tough. South Africa is already hard to reach, guess. And just throwing on all these squares is... Oh, man. I am going to take a risk. I'm going to go for this one, I think. It feels the best of the three, but who knows here. Let's see. Ah, yeah, it is this one. Okay, farther west. At the very least, so far, we've been in the bordering square each time. So let's go to round number three. And see what we get this time. Okay, wow, we're back in Southern Africa. This one, I think, is going to be Eswatini. This is the Gen 3 coverage. Again, that's the back of the car, so we are driving on the left. You have the yellow outside lines you see a lot in these Southern African countries. But this kind of landscape in mountains is pretty Eswatini. Now, I really hope it's... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Look at this. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? We can try to find the road, I guess. We're going kind of northeast. We are in a mountainous area, so... That all helps, but, I mean, this is a long shot. Let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna say we're not in this southeast one. I think that's not gonna be where. Maybe not here. I feel like more west, because it's a bit more hilly over here. I feel like that's more likely to be where we are. So honestly, I might just go in this, this square here. Please be right. Come on. Have mercy on me. Nah, oh, it's the other one. Come on. <laughs> Once again, getting the bordering quadrant here. Eswatini is brutal, man. And here we have Ghana, the infamous Ghana tape on the car. So can we do this? We have some mountains. Uh, let's see. We're going on a north northwest angled road. Let's take a look at Ghana's split. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, wow. Okay, so I'm thinking with the mountains, it's going to be probably Kumasi Square or over here by Ho. I can't, it's not going to be north. We don't have northern foliage. This is more southern tropical foliage. By Just by how large the squares are, how much of Ghana is in each one, I mean, it's more likely to be this one. But no one my luck so far today. It's, it's going to be here, but I'm still going to go there. Let's see. Come on, man. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> We're going to go this entire first game just getting the bordering ones. Last round. We have to get one right, man. This is ridiculous. All right, here we're going to be in Bolivia. It says it right there for us. So if we can't get it from this sign, come on. These signs are usually pretty good, but we're kind of far. Like, they would have the town names or, like, departments. I don't think we can really read it, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's just that bit too far. But at least we know we're in Bolivia, and we can try to use the landscape and everything. The road angle, mountains again. Just try to line it up, but Bolivia is going to be a terrible split. Oh, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't recognize this coverage. Uh... I think it's going to be one of these two, Cochabamba Square or Potosi Square. I don't know which one I prefer more. Maybe I prefer this one, honestly. A bit more south, because it kind of reminds me more of, like, farther south desert landscapes, but it's really hard to say here. I'm going to go for it. I think, again, we should get the bordering square at the very least, uh, but let's see. Come on, please be this one. You have got to be kidding me. This is so stupid, man. Without fail, five for five. We went for the bordering square. We had a good game. We had almost 23k. Call it a skill issue. Call it bad luck. Whatever you will. We had a good game score-wise. Let's try this again and try to get one square right instead of whatever just happened here. This is nuts, man. Come on. Give me give me the right square on this. Oh, this is going to be really tough. Okay. The nice thing about the first game was it was smaller countries or really distinct landscapes within the countries. This time... Not so much. This is going to be Canada somewhere, and oh uh, no, I'm afraid to even look at all these squares. Oh no. <laughs> it's going to be pretty northern. We have a lot of these, I'm not sure if you call them larches or just 
conifers of some kind. I'm not, not too well versed in my botany here, but these are far north Canada trees. What I'm thinking right now is it's farther north, like Saskatchewan, Alberta. Even without these squares, I wouldn't know which one to do. And now we have like 10 different squares to choose from, so this is brutal. I am gonna try this square in Alberta. Now this time we might not even get the bordering one. If this is right, it's a miracle. Let's see. Ah, oh, not bad. It is... Oh, it is actually Saskatchewan, so we're not in the bordering square this time. We're, like, kitty corner to it. Again, had kind of the right idea for where to go. It's just those squares. They make it brutal. We lost the province streak as well there. Round number two. Okay. Ah, oh, this is Australia. Okay. Good thing here is we do have a distinct pole. That's what you see in the Northern Territory. So, that's kind of interesting for this landscape as well. So we could try to use the road again. Let's just see what the squares are first. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so... What I can say right now is we're not going to be down by Alice. It's not deserty enough here to be down there, and I don't think we're going to be way up north either. We're like, maybe in the Catherine Square? Maybe with the angle of road that fits too, to be somewhere along the one here. Honestly, I kind of like that. I do. I'm trusting the poles, I'm trusting the gradient of foliage from tropical north down to the desert. It feels like we're going to be there. Let's see, can we get this one right, please? Come on, Australia. Not as farther south, okay. Over two this time on even bordering quadrants. This is a harder seed though, two big countries. Round number three, Let's see what we get here. Okay, it doesn't get any easier, wow. I think this is gonna be Poland, actually. We know from previous episodes Poland isn't great, and it's even worse this time. Classic Bidgosz is still split in four, but now we've got even more squares joining the party here. And yeah, Polish road sign to confirm it. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> with this, I don't know what to do, honestly. I'm leaning a little bit west and north. Maybe I go Poznan Square. It's just roulette to me at this point. Where to go? I'm gonna go right there. Poland, come on. Oh no, so close. Damn it. <laughs> My luck when playing this is just something else, really. Here's round number four. Okay, we're in Israel here. Can we get this one? We got the yellow plates. We have the antenna with black car. The yellow outside lines. So Israel. It can't be too bad, right? It's only split in two still. Okay, that I think is from the default script. We have really a 50-50 here, but let's try to get this landscape. It, it seems more like we're going to be on the Palestine side, which is also split in half, of course. So I'm going to say we're on this one. Northmore. Just with the bit of, you know, like, I guess olive trees here. The slightly more agricultural feeling, because going farther south, it turns into desert. I'm going to try my luck with that. Please be here. We need one. Yes, finally. That's not a bad plunk either. Hell yeah. We are one for nine so far this episode. Finally getting something right. That feels good. And the final round for this game. Okay. 261. What, what the heck is going on here? This is the US. Or no, is it? I think it's Canada. Yeah, that exit's a bit weird. Yeah, that's, that's Canadian sign there too. Alright, so some Canadian divided highway. This, again, Canada to start and end the seed. This is tough. Trying to see if there's any province-specific stuff. Maybe this reflector is. I'm not too up on my uh, Canadian province things. This kind of just feels like Ontario to me, honestly. Northern Ontario. So it would be a big divided highway. Is there even a road like this really here? Is 11 divided? See, I'm not sure that it is. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one at all, to be honest. I... Oof. I'm gonna go in this square, I think. Just go there anyway. I'm not even sure it's gonna be in this part of Canada, but let's just give it a try and see what happens. And, oh, it is here! Yeah, let's go! That's a pleasant surprise to end there. Again, a pretty good game. We broke 22k, and this time we did get two of our quadrants right, so we're improving a little bit. Let's keep it up, go to game three. We actually have a streak going. We got the last two correct in a row, and here's Australia again, so putting it to the test. A very different landscape, though. A lot more greenery, trees and everything, but it's kind of hard to see the landscape because of all the trees. So, really gonna be a foliage-based round. Let's... Uh, <laughs> you guys know this isn't my strong suit in Oz, but... I'll try my best. To me, this feels like... South. It's maybe just Vic, but it's it's split into, like, so many squares. This kind of round is one of my biggest weaknesses, and I really gotta practice Australia more. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do here beyond just... Hope it's somehow in this, you know, maybe this square is better. I just get a south vibe. I'm probably completely wrong here. Let's see. Starting out stronger week and kind of weak. It's South Australia over by Adelaide. We're a couple away. Not the greatest guess of all time. But that's all right. Australia is something I got to practice more. So can't be too disappointed. Here's Russia. All right. So we haven't had to deal with this yet. We have water though. That's actually really helpful. And yeah, I think with black car... 
and this kind of landscape, we should be on Sakhalin. The interesting thing about Russia is that in the Far East, a lot of it is the white car, except on Sakhalin, where it's black car. And that makes a lot of sense with the water east like this. And it's definitely very eastern foliage, these trees. You'll see a lot farther east. Again, I'm no botany expert. I don't know what the trees are called, but these kinds of trees, this is the eastern foliage. Anyway, let's try to get this. Sakhalin, we at least have it narrowed down to, but that is split into four, five squares even, so it could be tough. We just really have to look for a road on the coast. Like, I bet this is, yeah, that's gotta be it. Come on. We got the mountain ridge right up on the coast here as well. Yep, you can see that there, so it makes sense to me to be this one. Yeah, down here there isn't really coast like that. I, I don't think there's any coverage or even roads right there, so probably not there. No way it's this one. That's nothing there. So yeah, feel pretty good about this. We should get it. Awesome, man. There we go. Easier to get cycle in there with all the different clues, but really satisfying to get the square. Let's go, man. Here is round three, and we're going to be in Turkey with these bollards and this kind of road. So Turkey. Turkey could be interesting. Kind of a region-guessable country if you study it. There are some distinct areas. I'm no Gelotris, though, so this could be tough. The foliage here is pretty Mediterranean-influenced. We got a little bit of the exposed rocks, so I'm thinking farther south and west. So, Izmir Square, Antalya Square. I might just go for this one. It's a big square. It's probably safe. Knowing my luck, it's going to be right here. <laughs> Let's just give it a shot, man. No point wasting more time. <laughs> I'm not even surprised anymore. That's just my luck. I mean, probably skill issue should have gone closer to the coast, but that's how it goes, man. Here's round number four. We've done okay so far this game. We are back in Russia, though, and a very, very different landscape from the last one. Definitely not Sakhalin, I can say that. Landscape-wise, this is very different. It's very flat, it's almost dry looking. You can see there aren't really too many trees around, the grass is very dusty and everything. So this is making me think we're down here somewhere. Let me see the angle of the road just in case anything pops into my head. It is northwest, so... Yeah, this is a tough one. I... I wonder if it's gonna be this square? So that square stands out to me. It could be Ostrakhan Square. I feel like one of these four. Maybe a bit farther north if I'm reading this wrong. I hope I'm reading this right, though. I could be saying all this to get, like, a thousand points here. Uh, I'm gonna go in the square. Screw it, man. I got nothing to lose. Ah, it's in the little further north, yeah. I had kind of the right idea, but yeah, Russia, that's a harder round for me. And the final one for the seed, let's see what we got. This is looking like Brazil, okay. Brazil will be interesting and very difficult, so let's see. We got mountains, it's tropical. Yeah, not really sure what's going on with this one. Let's look at Brazil. It's gonna be terrible. Oh my god, this is the stuff of nightmares right here. Mountains, tropical, maybe I just go Bellow Square, you, you get the hills here, you get the tropical foliage. I can see really anywhere along the entire coastal mountains. I, it could be just somewhere completely different too, I have no idea, but I'm gonna go Bellow Square, come on. If this is right, I'll be so happy, please. No, way, way wrong. Okay, it's so far north. Well, a terrible guess to end it there, and definitely our worst effort of the video so far, but I'm happy with a couple of those. Sakhalin was nice. On we go to game four. Here we go. And this time, Argentina. Okay, another South American country to get here, so let's take a look at the foliage. We have a lot of these low-lying trees and ground cover, and yeah, with that, I would guess up here somewhere, more north. I feel like that maximizes our chances of getting bordering at least. Uh, I hope it's actually here, but yeah, not really too sure what to do beyond just go for it on this one. And, ah, uh, it's over in this one. Okay, that's a pretty small sliver. Not bad, that's not a bad start. Round number two. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, Mongolia. Okay, Mongolia, I already don't know how to guess. This is just gonna be worse. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, I really couldn't tell you where this one is. I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna go this square. And... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. See, this is my luck. To be fair, I should know how to guess Mongolia. That's just... That's a skill issue round. Probably a very distinct road if you know the country. Anyway, here's the next one. This is Indonesia. Okay. Another one that is going to be tough for me. Anything telling me the city. Please. Banka. Banka is a clue. That's... Those are the islands or something, right? Banka Belating Islands, yeah. Okay, do I trust that? The bad thing is, these are split anyway into multiple squares. <laughs> It's not like it's that helpful. Also, not even sure if we could trust that, but I really don't have much else, so probably just go in this city and hopefully it's there. Please. No, completely baited. Maybe should have realized something was off there, uh, but me not knowing anything about Indo, I see Banka, I click Banka. And round number four. Okay, we're back in Turkey. A different Turkish landscape from the other one. So this is going to be farther east with these kinds of grassy hills, not many trees around. It's going to be pretty far east. Can we see any volcanoes? Volcanoes can help when you're out this way. I don't think we can see them, maybe. Oh, maybe there's one there. 
Okay, well that's something at least. Yeah, I think we go in the Erzurum car square. Honestly, Turkey could be worse. I feel like if you know how Turkey works, this kind of split isn't bad, but I, I'm not one of those people. So I'm just gonna go in the car square. No, I'm, yeah, I'm just completely wrong. See, it's not even east. Last round, again, not a great effort this time, but this is a beautiful location here. Lovely mountains and foliage here. What is this? We've got the white outside lines. It, it seems Alpine, Europe. Is it going to be Italian Alps with the white outside lines? Maybe. Uh, yeah, we don't really see too much else. I, yeah, I'm thinking Italian Alps. That's really come to mind, mainly because of the road. So let's see the split. Probably just clicking this one. And that does, if I'm wrong about it being Italian... Like, if it's somehow Austria, you know, it could be in there. At this point, though, another rough game here. Let's just do it and see what it is. And it is the square. It is Italian Alps. All right. I'm going to do one more attempt for this video and see if we can get our best one so far. Here we go. Okay, this might be a good start for it. This is Kenya. Well, let's look at the Kenya split and see, because this landscape looks familiar. Oh, okay. That's not great. I don't like these four lines being right there. That's really bad. Yeah, with the greenery, the mountains. Ah, man. Yeah, that's tough to say. I think... I think I gotta go in this square. Could see the two farther west, but I... I feel like we're gonna be closer to these national parks up there. Might be wrong, again, but I... That's my best idea. It is, yeah, okay, good stuff. So far, so good. We got one streak, a really nice guess in Kenya. Here's number two. Okay, we're back in South Africa again. The same wooden poles like that. And this is the Gen 2 coverage. The sun, foliage and landscape-wise, very flat. We have a little bit of the mountains and these kinds of trees. This is like a weird mix of everything you'd see in Botswana, the coast down here, and Eswatini. So I think this square. Actually, I wouldn't even be surprised if it's up here more. Just looking a little closer at the mountains and everything over there. Yeah, I, I could see this. Do I do it? I'm tempted to try. You know what? I'm gonna do it. This might be a bad idea. I might be moving from the right one. I'm doing it. No, I moved in the right one, damn it. Oh, a little bit misread there, taking the risky guess. That was probably bad, but at least I went for it. It's it's good to try sometimes. This time, we are going to be in Spain. We haven't had Spain yet. We've got the Spanish pole there. Sometimes see the black car along antenna there. Spain, I don't like how this is going to go. Let's see. Ugh, okay, not great. It's relatively dry, so we can rule out the northern squares. Not going to be like Alicia, the Pyrenees, nothing like that. Shouldn't be these two. I'd say not. I think one of these. Maybe more this one. It reminds me a little bit of the drier areas up by Zaragoza. That's what I'm thinking. I'm trusting my gut on this. I'm not sure at all, but we'll see. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. It is up here, but on the wrong side of the line. That's my luck. Oh, the Catalonia Square. Right? Where are we even in? No, we're just over Catalonia in Aragon. Tough luck there. Here's round number four. Two more. Let's make these good ones. All right, we're well, going to be in Sweden. We got the short Swedish dashes, very Swedish architecture there. That's just such a good example of it. As if Sweden wasn't already hard to read and guess. Now, now we get these lines. Safe choice, I think, is just this one. Honestly. It feels a little bit north. I wouldn't say this is max south at all. So a little bit north, but still, you know, in the areas where you get a lot of population, some farms. So, yeah, over here feels safe to me. I'm going to do it, and please give me some luck here. Oh, it's so north! No! <laughs> okay, completely terrible guess there, yeah. 3,000 in Sweden is brutal. Well, last round here, we got Iceland to end it off. This is gonna be interesting. We really gotta try to get this one, because Iceland, you can try to line up the mountains and the road angle and everything. It's not too bad sometimes. We're going northeast here. Really huge mountains around us in this valley. Let's first of all look at the squares in Iceland, just to see where we could even go. So, uh, it's not gonna be the Vic Square. It's... I doubt it's this one. I think the roads and everything are a little different unless we're like in there. Really, most of Iceland is in these two squares, so it's more or less a 50-50 on this one. Uh, there is a river following the road. That's actually good to look for the river. And then the mountains sort of curve up there to the north. They curve more west. You know, maybe something like in here. Is there a river? There is. There's gonna be so many valleys that look decent like that. You know, maybe this one. Oh, you know, with the way the mountain curves a bit more there, I might go for this. We'll see if it's this square. Would hate to lose out on the last round, but we will just have to see. And... Oh, it is this square. Okay, I'm in the right area. Barely got this one right. A win is a win. We will take it, and a much better result there to end it off. That was pretty interesting to me today, trying this out with so many different squares. I hope you guys enjoyed the format. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this and what your best streak on this mode is. Thanks, as always, for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.